I want to talk to you today about um, blemishes and breakouts, um, but this is not an acne video because I don't get acne, um, although there will be a separate video on that and on teen um, breakouts and blemishes. This one is all about me and my breakouts, and I don't get them very often, but once a month a few pop up and uh, it's not really great when you're in my line of work. So I thought that I would show you my little box of tricks, I'll just put my remote control down, my box of tricks, things that I rely on to get rid of my spots more quickly than if I just left them alone. I mean, probably the best thing is to leave them alone if you just have the odd one, but we all know that we can't do that and we have to prod and squeeze and all that kind of thing. So I totally understand where you're coming from there and um, I know that it's pointless saying don't squeeze because it's like the most tempting thing in the whole world to squeeze a spot, especially if it's got that head on. So we'll talk about that in a minute as well. I'm going to talk you through the life cycle of my spot and what I do. So first of all, when I feel it coming up, which is normally after I've been modelling, after I've been working, and I don't know whether it's a particular brand of makeup that uh, lots of makeup artists use, which I won't name, but it's three letters. I don't know whether it's that. I don't know whether it is just the fact that lots of makeup's coming on and off. I don't know whether it's dirty brushes. Don't know, but every time after I work spots. This one is a hormonal one, and that's the other reason that I get them, and why most women would get them at a certain time of the month. So when I feel that horrible, pulsating, aching feeling underneath the skin, I take all my makeup off, top cleanser, clear skin from Elf Rach, which I mentioned in a teen video, but also one I've been using a lot recently, which is Murad's um, AHA and BHA exfoliating cleanser. It's excellent. This is from the Age Reform range, and it's got kind of a scrub texture to it as well. Don't really like manual exfoliation like that, but um, this one is really, really good. So a good cleanse. And then here I have my secret weapon deep cleansing mask. Pull out all those impurities. This one's very expensive, but if you look at my deep cleansing mask video, which I'll try and remember to link to, I did have about five alternative suggestions for this one, so have a look at that. Then, spot treatment. Dr. Nick Lowe's spot gel. I wouldn't use this before makeup because it dries the skin out around the spots and it goes on, makeup goes on cakey and flaky. So this is strictly ow, that's the cat biting my, what are you doing? Um, yeah, strictly for kind of nighttime treatment really. I mean, I don't get that many blemishes, I think, because I generally um, try to exfoliate on a regular basis. I use my liquid gold, <laughs> it's the cat attacking my feet. Uh, the liquid gold, which looks like this, you can see this in loads of videos, probably my number one star product of all time, <laughs> cat. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, liquid gold, yes, yeah, so I don't get too many breakouts. Right, so after you've cleansed, I've got a couple of treatments here. This is the super um, clarifying activator, and that is from Dr. Pericone Super Range. Really, really good. Don't layer up too many exfoliating products. This has got glycolic in it, I think, or maybe salicylic. You don't want to be putting too many acids together, or any acids together, to be clearer on that. Um, but this one's okay. It's just a nice kind of fresh solution. Wipe it over your face. And then finish with some kind of moisturiser, because you do need to put the moisture back into the skin. I've got a couple that I use here. Oh, this is another brilliant treatment. This is a serum, so you could use this as well before a moisturiser. This is the Manuka Doctor one, and I love this. It's really, really good. In fact, a couple of times when I had bad hormonal breakouts, I think that this single-handedly saved my skin, really. So, love that one too. Then, a couple of moisturisers that I've got. Um, this one is Alfred Clear Skin, goes with the wash that I showed you, and is just a very, very light antibacterial gel. This Vichy Normaderm is brilliant because it tackles um, imperfections and it tackles wrinkles. In the same way, really, that the um, Liquid Gold does. Wherever that's gone, the Liquid Gold. Um, because glycolic naturally exfoliates, so you're keeping your skin very clear, but it's also an anti-aging ingredient and it really helps to kind of firm up the skin. 
So, that is kind of a good affordable option. I really like that one. Which kind of makes sense really because glycolic does do both things. Another brilliant one, MD Formulations. This is an antioxidant gel and this is for oily or problem skin and it's just a really nice lightweight gel. It just feels like water going on. It doesn't feel like it's moisturising but it is. Um, and when your skin's all oily and outbreaky, then that's the kind of thing that you need. Something that's putting moisture in, but it's not letting loads of oil sit on the surface. When a spot's going to come out, I think normally it's just it's going to happen. So next morning, wake up, spots come into a bit of a head. Do we squeeze it? Yes. Um, we're not supposed to, but we always do. I try not to, but if it's kind of ready, then it happens. You shouldn't really, just try and leave it. But... Um, I can, I can resist sometimes, but most of the time I'm just straight in there. Um, but it's just about damage control, never make it bleed, never force it so it shoots out all over the place, and never pick it, because you don't want to be scarring yourself. Um, so those are the rules for not squeezing your spot. And then, treatment again if you want to. Um, you could use one of those treatment gels if you wanted to, or you know, I might use one of those, but if I'm going to be using makeup on top, I might use a primer. Depending on the scale of the um, breakout, I've got an all-over primer. This is an anti-acne one. That's from Clear um, Cover Effects. That's the Clear Prep Effects. It's really good. The one that I used the other day was an oil control mattifier, and this is a moisturiser, oil control, and SPF in one. So I really like this because it minimises the amount of products, layers of products I have to put on my face. I don't want to aggravate the spots anymore. And if I can possibly not put any makeup on, then I will. But I had to the other day. So I followed this with my mix foundation. And you can see me now putting that on. And go in there with a concealing pencil. Now, in the video I used this one, Moravixa. Really nice formula, not too waxy, um, but kind of slidey enough so that it doesn't cake or anything on top of the spot. And you should go in there around the spot um, rather than just splodging it on top because it's the redness that's around it, you know, and just try and get rid of that redness. I find these really precise to use which is why I go in with those. That's a Shiseido concealing pencil, that one. Slightly cheaper than the Amaravixer I think. And then if you feel you need to go in there with some powder as well. I mean, I think the less that you put on top of breakouts the better just keep it really really clean if you can so I tend not to um, but if you feel very very shiny then go ahead you could also use a mattifying primer it's a really good one from Estee Lauder I haven't got it to hand at the moment but I'll put that in the information box and if you're on a bit of a budget this one is excellent this is from good things it's called miracle mattifier and again it's just a moisturizer with mattifying properties so doesn't dry your skin out, that's not what mattifying is. It's all about putting moisture in but taking that sheen off the top. So some of them you get a kind of powdery finish and it's a bit uncomfortable, but good ones you should still feel like your skin's very moisturised but with a nice non-oily finish. So that one is very good as well. Uh, one more thing that I've spotted in my box of delights, this is the Tisserand all over skin wash and it's got um, grapefruit and tea tree in, very very zingy, brilliant for hand washing and face washing even and body washing. I wouldn't probably use it on my face unless I didn't have anything else to hand. But if you find that you get maybe a spotty back or a spotty chest then quite a good one to go for. Very antibacterial so it just keeps everything nice and clean. There we go. That's that video over and I shall see you in the next one.